Hi, my name is Wyatt White. I am the product manager here at Belon, and today I'm going to be showing you something we call the Watusi stringing style. This is a style of stringing that utilizes Belon stranded wires, either 19 or 49 strand, in varying different diameters of the wire. You'd use the, the different diameters of wire depending on the beads that you'll be using. Today we're using um, Swarovski beads. Um, because we all love Swarovski, of course, and Beadalon and Swarovski always goes very well together. The stringing wires are very strong, the uh, Swarovski beads are pretty heavy, so these are good um, partners in um, making jewelry. So let's get started. To begin doing the Watusi stringing style, we're going to make a bracelet. So I will need two strands of, in this case, because I'm using Swarovski 5000 beads, that's a number 5,000, they have a hole that will um, allow three strands of 0 .024 diameter 49 or 19 strand beadalon to go through the hole. So the bracelet's going to be approximately um, seven and a half inches long, so I want to have two pieces that are about nine and a half inches long. So I just spool this off of my spool. This I'm going to be using silver color um, beetle on wire. So we'll just measure those out. We have two of those. The long wire needs to be three times the length of the short wires. So we're going to measure out one, two, three times the length of the uh, approximate length of the bracelet and cut that. Once you have those cut, then we can begin to um, start this bracelet. Taking the, the two shorter strands, put them side by side, and then run the longer one down the center. Now this, this doesn't have to be so closely guarded um, because things are probably going to get a little bit twisted at, at some point. But those three you want together. And because this is 024, I'm going to need to use either a number four crimp tube or a number three crimp bead. I prefer the crimp beads uh, just because they're a little more compact. So you're going to run all three of these strands up through the number three crimp bead. And then the long strand you're going to pull a little bit longer and feed that back through. Now because I'm going to be using a lobster claw, now is when I want to add that lobster claw to the long strand. So I'm just going to string that right on and then take this long strand back down through that crimp. Now carefully I'm going to find the long strand and I'm going to pull, well, that was the wrong one of course, so I'll need to push that back up in there. And here's our long strand. I'm just going to pull that down until this sort of sets up a little bit. You don't want it too tight but you don't want it too loose either. So get that to about there. Then carefully take a mighty crimp tool and first crimp with the second group of tools on the jaw and then turn this to the side and crimp that that way. So you've got a nice, good, sturdy crimp on those three wires. Then I'm going to take and very carefully come in here and trim the two shorter ones off because you don't want that showing on your uh, bracelet. So snip that off and then come over to the other side and get that other short one. Snip that off, just like so. Now we want to cut this one up to about there. Okay, so now we have the long strand and the shorter two strands that are ready to to begin um, the Watusi style of stringing. So we're going to string the two shorter wires onto a single um, 10 millimeter 5000 Swarovski bead and then I'm going to string the long one as well. But I want these to sort of remain, I want this one sort of in the middle um, of the other two um, because we're going to be, this, this one will be strung back and forth through those two strands in between the beads. Pull that up nice and tight. 
Now we've got a short one, a short one, and the long strand here. So now we can string an additional few of the beads on the, on the two strands, the two short strands. So one, two. Here we've got to check to see how long the bracelet will be. Um, and I've measured it here and I've got eight beads on, so I need to put eight more on and that should give us really close to a um, seven and a half inch bracelet. So we just got a few more of these to put on and then we can start doing the Watusi. And again, I'm stringing both strands of the short strand through each of these beads. inches. I'm going to measure that to probably one more bead and we'll be ready to get started doing the Watusi. Now we have this incredible thing called a bead stopper that is so very useful in, in this particular technique because as you pinch this bead stopper together all of these um, springs open up so <laughs> this actually will hold each one of these wires so that when you lift this up, the beads don't go anywhere. And it doesn't damage the wires at all, and it holds it perfectly. And you need to have a little bit of space, but not too much space, when you start this Watusi. So, we have the long strand, and what we're going to do is we're going to put a single bead onto this. And drop that all the way down here. Now if you notice, the two strands are side by side. I want to go in between those two strands, so we're going to open this up and insert this wire through those two wires. And carefully pull that through, you don't want to kink it. Um, and this is sort of the tricky part, you just need to have this bead you want it to stand up and be approximately right there. Maybe a little bit more over. And just pull that down. That's where you want that to lie. Then you can use another one of the bead stoppers to hold that bead in place until you get <coughs> the next bead on. And you can remove this, keep that handy, uh, and then you want these wires to stay parallel and bring this wire back through coming towards me. So we want to go through those two wires. Let's pull it apart with your thumbnail. Pull this back through and we need to size the wire on that side just like we did the last time. Again, you need to hold those and adjust this so that the bead is uh, parallel with the bead below it. Then pull another bead over and then reinsert the bead stopper. And that's really how the Watusi is done. It, uh, it's a little bit slow at first, but once you get the hang of it and get the idea of how to put these on and take the bead stoppers off while keeping the two wires parallel that you're going in between, it, it takes a little bit of practice, but you'll, you'll get it in just a couple of projects. So open that up again. and pull that through. So you can see the pattern is starting to um, develop. And use the bead stopper once again. Now that we've um, completed the pattern 
And we're on the last one. Again, I have my um, bead stopper holding, holding the end. Now, I have to feed this back through the last bead. So once we're here, I need to just slide this up and pull this through. In here you don't want to kink it. I'm going to get it down here and just very carefully keep that from kinking and feed it through just like so. Okay. Now again we want to now we can cut the long strand off and we have our three ends. Take one of the uh, large crimp beads and feed all three strands. Now you can remove the bead stopper. Get this down nice and tight right here at the end. And you've got to bend one of these back through. Don't forget to go through the um, tag. I need to pull this out a little bit more. And take this and bend it back through yourself some room is much better. You've got to hold these in one hand and pull this with the other hand and pull this down and get that nice and tight. Okay. Just check to make sure everything's in, in, in place. Now we'll, um, if you want, you can undo this. I like to keep this connected while I'm working so that I don't lose one end, which occurs occasionally. And then again, we're going to take our Mighty Crimp pliers. And in the second part of the jaws, make that first crimp, turn this over, and make our second crimp. Now we want to carefully trim this up. In both areas. Make sure this is out of the way. So that is our finished Watusi stringing style bracelet. So I would like to show you Obviously, the color of the wire is going to make a lot of difference in the way the design um, is done. Here is the same color of the Watusi brace that we just made, only using black beetle-on wire. I think it's a very interesting um, contrast. Uh, here's the necklace that was made with the regular uh, beetle-on bright the stainless steel colored wire. So again, you have three different colors of the wire that really make a difference. This is one of the reasons that uh, we at Beetleon make so many different colors of bead stringing wire. Um, this particular design shows some of the wire, and there's been several books written on exposed wire jewelry that uh, utilizes the, the colors that, that we make. I've done some other designs to kind of give you some ideas as well, using the exact same three-wire technique, Watusi stringing style. And this one was made with Swarovski pearls and bicone beads. Here I didn't go through the first pearl with all three strands, I just went with two. And then the outside strand, I put five of those on. Um, and then of course this goes through just like we did on the others and that goes back and forth. So you can see that that's a pretty pretty interesting way to, to um, do something similar um, to what we started but just making it sort of your own. Here's also um, a lighter style, uh, a lighter color of the Swarovski 5000 um, beads in a 10 millimeter as well and this is on the um, the champagne 49 strand bead along wire and if you can get real close on this, it's a really beautiful wire. So it gives it a very different look again. And then lastly, I have, I've used um, some six millimeter uh, diamond shaped beads and using the exact same technique, only this time I'm pulling the diamond shaped bead into the center in between the other 
the, the yellow diamond shaped beads and then letting the wire show. This is the, um, the new antique brass beadalon uh, stringing wire. So there's some ideas and um, an interesting style of Watusi stringing style with beadalon.